what's going on we starting this out on the north coast we headed to cabaret day then we're gonna go to susua from there we're gonna hang out with the locals of course we're gonna try some good food we're gonna see what the town got to offer from there we're gonna go ahead to susua enjoy the videos We in Sasua, Dominican. No, the weather's beautiful. We hey, he said, if you're going to be here, you better come correct. I told my co-producer, if he's going to correct me, he got to tell me where we are. Where we are, Barry? Cabarete. Hi. Say Everyone what's up. Is me? Uh. Say what's up. What's up? So, I'm going to be cutting his pay. Oh, oh, he's trying to correct me. Hey. See? <laughs> Happy people out here. This was one of many Airbnbs I had while here in the country. This was a beautiful two bed, one bath, and the price was great. It cost about $45 a day, which is good. They had AC and they had hot water. This is a tourist area. That's why they had both. Apartment was spacious, it was clean, it was nice. But yeah, this was a real nice area. The area that this apartment is in, I was told in general, wasn't a tourist area until they started cleaning it up and remodeling the buildings. And now you will see a lot of tourists renting places out in this area. Across the street from me, there were tourists over there and up the street. But before the end, they said it would be just locals and Haitians that lived in this area. I will say it was a nice area, it was safe, I was out during the daytime, during the night, and I never felt uncomfortable. Of course we had to kick the day off with a good Dominican breakfast. These aren't normal eggs, these eggs were good. That's all you need to eat. That bread, you will see that bread every morning. And of course we had to have some good Dominican coffee. Still a lot of land out here that's undeveloped, and just depending on the area, it's going to determine the price of the land. I did look at some land and the prices varied. It depended on a lot. Cabarete had a town outside of it that's a little smaller, but it's up in the hills. I don't know if they're gonna consider it a mountain, but you up there. And those views, you can see the ocean, you can see the town, and it's beautiful at night. That type of land, you're gonna spend a lot of money. That's my homeboy Phil and his son Barry. He's familiar with this area, so he was showing me around. Cabarete has some nice beaches. Big difference from Sasua. Cabarete is about 20, 20 minutes drive from Sasua, Sasua Beach. And Sasua is about 30 minutes, depending on traffic, from Puerto Plata. The distance from the airport to Puerto Plata gets you about 30 minutes drive to Sasua. Then from there, if you want to go to Cabarete, it's another 20 minutes. They got one main road that it gets you from Sasua to Porta Plata. Usually we get around in taxi. Depending on how much traveling you're doing, if you will need a car. If I know I'm doing a lot, then I'll get a car for a couple days. The cars are not cheap. Because this is a tourist area, if you want to rent a car, the cheapest I've seen is going to cost you about $25 a day. Good luck with finding that. You won't find that price often. Most of the time it's going to be $40 to 45 to 50 dollars a day most of them know they can charge that much in these tourist areas and that's just the price they're going if you go to another city or another town they will be cheaper they rent motorcycles too i would not advise or suggest any foreigner coming to this country to rent a motorcycle unless you really know how to ride one if you don't please do not get on one it is considered dangerous to be on a motorcycle in these countries I've seen a lot of bad accidents. There are a lot of deaths involving motorcycle riders. Not from foreigners, but the locals. They drive crazy, so you have to be careful. It's the main street. Man. I wanted, let me get this. Right. Then we can go that way. Well, I was looking up some stats in Dominican Republic, and I would say there's a big difference from Cabarete and Sosua. In my opinion, Cabarete 
beaches are more beautiful. A lot of people go there for a lot of water activities. You got a lot of surfing. I saw a lot of kites, kite surfing, and I saw some other water sports. I, I'm not familiar with water sports, so I don't know the name of it. But I saw a ton of people out there on the waves enjoying their time. And I heard that a lot of Europeans and Canadians come to this area during the winter time so they can hang out and get some good weather. Is he the farmer or he gets it from a, a farm? It's a local farm in Sosua or is it far by? Okay. How much the coconut drinks? 50 pesos less than the house. That's cheap. Okay. Yeah. Tell them I like a fresh coconut drink. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll buy one from him. Okay. So he's not selling. He might give you one, but he's always Oh, he can't sell it to me. Oh. It's only for the restaurant. Yeah, he make a contract. Yeah, and that's a contract. But I'll start from there. He said, you know. Okay. So, these are organic potatoes. Glass is. I will help you with it. So, fresh. It's not that sweet. It's a little salty and it's good. It's fresh. So we got a lot of lemons. So this is what your organic ginger looks like, not what you're seeing in the farmers, in the in the stores in Walmart. And you got the tomatoes, the onions, the bell peppers. It's good. You got some watermelons, bananas, mangoes. He has a lot of fresh fruit. Yeah, it's good. We're out here in Sasua. We're walking the streets. Long-term rentals. We're ranging seven seventy-five. Some one bedrooms for one hundred thirty thousand. Got some nice houses here. Oh yeah. 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 They're more expensive than I thought they were. Mm -hmm. so, one hundred and thirty. All right. Let's talk about real estate. Let's talk about land and rent costs. Let's start off with land. You will not find nothing cheap on the ocean. Let's just make that clear. You won't. We talking big money. I don't even want to talk about the high price items. We're going to be more realistic. I'm not rich. I definitely can't afford it, so I don't even want to talk about it. If you got money, you know you can buy something on the ocean. For some decent land, the cheapest I saw in Cabarete or the surrounding areas was around 50 grand. I'm sure you can find something a lot cheaper if you connect with some locals. The realtors listings, of course, they might add some money to it for their fees and things like that. I'm sure you can find something cheaper. But if you go through a realtor, you're not gonna find much cheaper than that. I saw average 50 minimum. As far as things that's already developed, built, houses for sale, condos for sale, the cheapest I saw was 75 to $90,000 for a studio or one bedroom. You might have an HOA fee and that might range from 25 to $50 a month. I'm not sure what they call it. They don't call it HOA out there. That's the maintenance fee. That's the minimum you're gonna spend on average. If you want something nice, looks good, it's gonna cost you about 125 to 175. You will see some cheaper ones pop up here and there, but they're gonna be so quick. As far as a house, houses aren't cheap. I'm saying about 
175 and that was far out that wasn't close to the water but 250 to 350 thousand is what you want to spend this is all us dollars as far as the rent costs you can find some good rent depending on what you're looking for if it's furnished unfurnished utilities included it's going to vary most of the stuff is furnished in tourist area and that's going to range on a one bedroom or studio you're going to see a minimum average 550 to 750 dollars you won't find anything cheaper than that you can find way cheaper when you go to inland in other areas of the country but when you're around tourist areas you will not find anything cheaper than that those prices are great i looked at some some areas in some other towns i will show in other videos you will find something for about 550 700 prices aren't bad think about it you on a beautiful ocean or you 10 20 minutes from the ocean that's what your rent is how much is rent everywhere else in this world i'm talking europe canada america places like that okay i came across this gym I only saw two of them in this small town. I want to say I met the owner's son. I want to say he was Canadian. If he's watching this, comment, I think he was Canadian. But this was one of two gyms, and I saw it. I said, let me check it out. Let me see what's in it. They had a decent amount of equipment. Of course, you can't compare it to America. That's it's just something you shouldn't do. But if you want to work out, and it's at a cheap cost, I'm surprised it was as cheap as it was. It was about 800 pesos, and that comes out to about $13, $14. Talking $13 a month. People working out, you see people in there getting a, their getting a workout on, and it was a nice size gym. Definitely if you want to stay in shape. This would be good for them. I got to get the price. While I was walking through the area, I saw this coffee shop and I was told that this was one of the most popular shops in the city, Cabaret Day. And I heard they had very good breakfast, a lot of good coffee. This is uh, Bagamundo. I didn't get a chance to go in there and get some food, but I will be back to try it out. I heard a lot of good things about it. I'm into art, I'm into woodworking, as we were walking around the corner from the Airbnb, I saw some nice work, so I had to stop in and say what's up. Seen some beautiful artwork here from this young man here, named JR. Beautiful work from Santiago. Hand painted artwork. He does woodworking making everything with his hands. Beautiful. Hand, handcrafted. Everything. You make it with hands. And I work for the people to uh, like a project. Mm -hmm. I do sign. You do a lot of projects? Okay, from uh, restaurants, commercial. You using a big log? Yeah. Okay. But uh, in three or four days, I can have uh, oh. done the figure. It's beautiful. Yeah, that's oh, a tiki yeah. by uh, yeah. uh, cedar, cedar. Cedar wood? Yeah, you okay. can smell it. Yeah, it's great. It's cedar. Mm. Uh, What's the main wood here in the country that you oh, that you work mahogany. with? Mahogany is beautiful. We have oak. Okay. We have uh, one thing. Okay. It's not easy to hide, uh, like uh, for sculpture, people use it for all the things like uh, sticks. Uh -huh. But what we made is good, it's from the mud from this mountain, and when they dry, when they cut, they shut. That's beautiful wood. It looks like, um, I'll think of the name soon. Oh, this is Bumble Shot. This is Bumble Shot. Okay. We don't have that wood in America. That's the root of the bamboo. Bamboo is like that. Ah, okay. That's the root. Yeah. In the in the dirt. Yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. And every single piece is go to the dirt. Okay. And then when it's dry, the ocean give it to me this piece like uh, bamboo. When it's is this a hard wood? No. Or soft? It's very soft. Okay. It's strong. 
They're strong, they, soft they, but strong. They drive, they are so straight. So once you hit it here, you can get a piece all on the way. Okay. Okay, but if you try to cut like that, it's you strong. cut, it's very difficult. Okay, it's difficult. Okay. Man, I do beautiful. all kind of structure, sculpture, okay. painting, all my painting. All oh, for the banks. Yeah. Okay. I do leather, leather bags now. We are cleaning the, the leather so we can make some more leather bags. Okay, so you, you do it all. Yeah. Is this a this a big coconut? I show you. I show you this way. This one thing is the same thing. Ah. That's, that's a coconut? No. It's not a co uh, gorge. That's what this is here? Yeah. Okay. Is That's a fruit or a vegetable? That's a... Uh, Sweet or... No. That's kind of fruit, but it's more medicinal. Okay. This kind of fruit is in the cow, where the cow lives. So they put two plants, so when they feel something, they eat this. Cow, mm -hmm. and they get killed. Okay, so do humans eat it or just cows? But well, humans too. Well, human is eating it. Okay, but it's good for cows. It's still, it's still I know it's for cows. Okay. But okay. I'm, I'm like an ignorant for the world. Maybe they will have another opinion. And what's the name of it? Uh, we call it Iguero. It's a goat. Iguero, okay. I'm going to have to look it up. I, I show you the fruit right now. I show you. The fruit is coming and a whole family, this is a whole family of this. It's coming green like that. This is fresh one. Okay. Okay. So what I do is take the meat out. Mm -hmm. Now lots of meat so I can, I can have it clean. It. So it's hard. Yeah. One of these is one of those. So why am I using this? For drinking, I call it titties. Ah, it's good for so drinking. You, yeah, you put on alcohol, water, whatever you want, it's gonna be uh, fresh and, and concert. Okay. So, nice. we do other other mm -hmm. type of, same thing. We okay. put something in, but this one I sell it with the glass, so you can have ah, a shot. okay. Oh, sorry. Nice. And uh, I play a little bit music like a uh, drummer, and I make those maracas. Nice. So on Friday I'm gonna have a show here with all the people from seven to twelve in the evening. Okay. And we're gonna with the DJ play and some live people play. Okay, every Friday? Yes, every Friday. Okay, what time? And uh, 7 to 12. 7 to 12, okay. Yeah. So we invite the people to play a little bit. Mm. Okay, beautiful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make it. I got it, I guess my dad got Marambu. Marambu. Marambu is maracos mm -hmm. from uh, the shell and bamboo shell. Okay. So, so different in the wood. Okay. Okay. Getting different sounds. Yeah. Okay. So I decided to do anything, uh, sculpture, painting, a little bit of music, and whatever. I do a little carpentry work. I'm about to show you. But you, did, I don't do this. This is good. Oh, y'all see it? I didn't see that. Now you come. Yeah, beautiful. But special of this is different. I have a 
True carpenter. See his hand tools. All hand tools. I don't see any machines. Okay, so you put the nice. It's beautiful. Looks good. Okay. Right. 